Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Lisa Matam and I'm so grateful that you continue to follow me in my journey as I launch my skin and hair care brand, Sahajan. In today's vlog, what I wanna share with you is the importance of building a strong network that's around your brand. One of the biggest challenges when you're a startup entrepreneur is that you're the CEO, you're the janitor, you're the marketing person, you're everything. And so the challenge is, is every day sometimes feels like it's putting out fires. It feels like it's addressing these one-off questions. Sometimes I walk in and I have 120 emails to start the day and I'm completely overwhelmed. But what you need to remember is you're building a bigger business with a bigger perspective. And so you need to be able to carve out time to not only work on the business, but to create a network that's going to support the business as it grows. These are the people that are going to think of you, advocate for you. You know, they might be people who you go to for advice as you start to grow and you don't know how to do things. And so the question I always get is, well, that sounds really nice, but how do I actually do that? How do I actually go and create a network? And that's what I want to be able to share with you. So three tips for you in terms of how to grow a great network. The first is you have to know who you are. Years ago, I went to a networking event with a girlfriend of mine who had just started a business. And someone said to her, what do you do? And she was early days, working from home, you know, kind of feeling a little shy about what was going on in her business. But she was absolutely brilliant. She had so much to offer. She left her role as a VP at a bank. It was, you know, a great story. But what she said is, oh, I run this small business in my condo, it's actually over there. You can see it through the window. And when you share a story like that, people don't want to know more. You've already, in and of yourself, created this vision that you're this small business that's barely keeping it together over there in that condo. Or what she could have said is, I just launched this amazing business. In the first month, we've had this many clients, and I'm so excited of where it's going to go. Both answers are true, but one tells people who you are and why they should take the time to speak to you. The second thing you need to be able to articulate is what you want. I've been to far too many coffees where people have said to me, I would love to have a coffee with you and pick your brain. And then I sit at coffee thinking, what am I doing here? So imagine as you start to meet people, and I have work who have much bigger profiles, or who, who you just look at and you think, I wanna be them, or they have something that they can teach me. You need to be able to articulate to them what you need. Are you meeting with them because they've had an experience that you want to be able to understand? Are you meeting with them because you even know that they have a bigger network that you want to tap into? Are you meeting with them because you recognize that you're growing a business and you're a little scared inside and you want to be able to keep you know, around you a frame of good people so you could tap in in the future? You need to let people know what you want so that they can decide if they're willing to invest the time, but that they can understand what it is they can offer. People are actually so gracious, but they can't help you if they don't understand what the purpose is. And then the third thing you need to be able to do is just make it happen. And it is so hard. I've actually had to write growing my network down as part of my goals because I'm tired at the end of the day. I have two young kids, I have so much going on, but I've written down that I will meet somebody new who matters in what I'm trying to accomplish every month. There's a lot of ways you can do that. A lot of people go to networking events and that's great, but for me, I find the greatest opportunity comes when you can have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with someone. This vlog actually came out of me going to an entrepreneurial event, standing up and sharing my story, and having the head of Coral come to me and say, we need to follow your story. That's a unique situation. More often than not, the relationships that I've created have been from saying to someone, I really need to meet someone who does this. Can you help me? And taking that person for coffee, taking them for breakfast. And the best advice I can give you is when you're asking somebody for something, you work on their schedule and you go to where they are. Know who you are, know what you want, and then go out there and do it. And what I want to tell you is, is that it isn't always easy. And sometimes when you have so much going on, you just don't want to do it. But what I can tell you is through my network, that's how I've gotten my advisor. That's how I've gotten access to some of the retailers that I work with. And my big sort of most thrilling announcement is the week after next, I'm going to San Francisco to be part of the Sephora's first inaugural Beauty Accelerator program. And while I had to apply for it, interview for it, and do all the things that were important to get that role, do you know how it first came across my desk? Is someone in my network saw the press release. Someone in my network had access. And so if I hadn't had someone in my network talking to that, I wouldn't be there. Trust me, networking matters. 
This Sephora program is going to be a game changer and it wouldn't happen if I didn't have the right people looking out for me. I hope you found these tips today helpful. If you have more questions for me, please write them below. I'm always happy to share any insight that I might have based on my experience. And if you've had great opportunity networking, if you've had good success or even some challenges, also share that. This is how we learn and grow, by creating a community of entrepreneurs who want to be able to learn from each other. And when I see you next, I'm gonna be post Sephora Beauty Accelerator program. I'm so excited to tell you what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like a crazy reality show slash business accelerator where it's eight women, eight beauty businesses all in one house. It's gonna be a fantastic learning experience and ultimately a game changer. And I wanna tell you exactly what I learned. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.